I am Mark Capron, and this is Muhammad Hassan, honored to be presenting the Ocean Foresters proposals. Well, the Ocean Foresters are many scientists and engineers from Fiji, Australia, Bangladesh, Slovenia, Italy, Scotland, Canada, and the United States. Methane sniffing drones with distributed mobile sensors addresses escaping and flared methane. Because of its greenhouse gas potency, escaped methane counteracts the benefits of replacing coal with natural gas. Recent studies and actions have increased the controversy over the amount of methane leaking during hydraulic fracturing. For example, the quick buck mentality shown by flares associated with fracking for oil in North Dakota does not walk the talk of an oil industry claiming low leak rates. Our proposal can be employed to stop wasteful leaks and flaring everywhere. Not just fracked wells, but traditional oil and gas wells, landfills, distribution systems, CNG filling stations. We can also measure the trillions of tons of methane released by warming Arctic permafrost and shallow hydrates. The technology needed to monitor methane emissions is straightforward. Hand-sized lasers can be mounted on work trucks and gas spots like this little guy. Workers and citizens could carry smartphone sensors. All sensors could send data to a state or national database. Because methane is lighter than air, aerial drone mounted sensors are essential for our trust but verify monitoring. Drone mounted lasers can detect methane at ranges up to three miles. The sensors are off the shelf. We need states, particularly North Dakota, Pennsylvania, and California to put a price on leaked and flared methane. A stiff price on leaks would create more jobs as industry sells the gas they would otherwise leak or flare. Utilities could be empowered to collect the fees and optimize their sensor system for income from detected leaks and flares. With the leak flare issue addressed, the ocean foresters would start removing global cumulative CO2 emissions, moving from our future of a five trillion ton red line to zero. The ocean foresters would do this with new seaweed forests in what are now ocean nutrient deserts by rapidly recycling nutrients and spinning off energy to completely replace fossil fuels, 600 quads, plus pulling CO2 equivalent out of the air. The University of the South Pacific is poised to start seaweed forest operations in Fiji after finding a $1 million investor. Thank you.